What's up guys, this is Sean aka Hyro1969. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. And if this video is possible by any means to help you, please be sure to like, share, subscribe, and leave a nice little comment down here at the bottom. And just let me know that I actually did something good for you. So you are here for a reason, and that is because your vehicle is trying to start, but it's not starting. Maybe every once in a while you may get a little backfire, a little puff here and there, but it's not actually firing. So, of course, you do the normal procedures, you check the fuel pump, you check uh, spark, blah, blah, blah. So, I just want to, like, show you guys, everybody, <laughs> every time I watch this video on YouTube, um, crank, no start, it's always the same thing. And it's so common, fuel pump. But, however, though, it's just kind of coincidental because this vehicle that I'm working on has a new fuel pump. So that obviously is not going to be our issue. So our issue is going to be in spark. However, though, it wasn't just spark. See, like this situation right here was a little confusing. And this is why I needed to make this video. Because if it happened to me, more than likely it's going to happen to other people out there. And I just kind of want to show you guys uh, the procedures that I took to correct this problem. Okay, so the, vi the vehicle of choice here is a... Here, let me just go a little bit wider. There we go. This vehicle is a 2007 Pontiac Grand Prix V6 with a 3.8 unsupercharged, fortunately. So, naturally, I, I hear the fuel pump turning on. It is a newer fuel pump. Just did it a couple days ago. Just kind of coincidental that this all had just happened. So, I want to show you the procedures that I take to, to uh, check and see what's going on here. So, right here on your fuel rail... You can see the fuel line that comes in here. We're going to do a fuel rail. Right here, you have a little port. You can open up that port. If you don't have a fuel tester, you can push something in there, watch the fuel squirt out of it. You should have a decent amount of fuel pressure. Should squirt out pretty good. Well, however, though, necessarily that doesn't always mean that you have good fuel pressure. So, uh, pressure tester. Looks like this right here. Uh, it's pretty much just a gauge with a hose on the end of it. I went ahead and I did a pressure test, and it was like over like 65 psi. So I knew for sure 100% the car is getting fuel. But why is it still not starting? It's still cranking. So I go ahead and I pull off a couple of the spark plugs, which on the coil packs, these are the coil packs, they lay right here. Uh, where are we? Okay. They lay right in here. So, I was getting spark. Uh, I had only just tested two, two of the wires. I just pulled one off over here and pulled one up off of the back here. And I just checked the spark. Now, how did I check the spark? Well, if you don't have one of these fancy-dancy things, what I did was I have another spark plug. And I just kind of... Uh, well, there was already a hole there, so I just kind of tapped it in there because I really don't care about the plug. And what I did was I singled out, I unplugged and plugged into, or I unplugged the spark plug wire and I plugged it into here. Now, what this does is you have to have uh, ground contact, so make sure that it is on a bare spot of metal. I went inside the car, I turned the key, and I would watch the spark. So... I was getting spark, let's just say that this sits here, that sits there, not in this order, obviously, that sits there, and there's one more that sits like right here, okay, so we're just going to throw those on for just for a second, so I'm checking the spark out of all of these here, and I noticed that number one and four were not sparking. So naturally, you would jump right to conclusions. You would say, oh, well, it's just a coil pack. However, though, it's not just a coil pack. Because I noticed that the spark started to become intermittent. I took the coil pack off up here, reversed them around here, checked the spark, and no spark on this end, no matter what I did with the coil packs. So I went ahead and I rearranged them again. And I noticed that one coil pack was not sparking as as it should have, it didn't have a blue spark coming out of here. Now, the reason why I did this here was because I'm, I was by myself, so I was able to look through this little hole right here through the hood, and I was able to watch the spark. 
So, but I noticed that one coil pack was sparking kind of yellow. So naturally, you need to go ahead and you need to replace that coil pack. However, it was deeper than that. Even though that the coil pack is new, the issue still was happening with no spark on one end of a coil. So that brings me to this, this little guy right here, which is called the ignition module. The ignition module has to be grounded to this. You remove this, you take this all off right here, and you need to clean this up. Now, a lot of people say to use dielectric grease. I do not suggest dielectric grease. The problem is with that, adding dielectric grease to this is not, not, dielectric grease will do two things in this situation here. What it would do is it would cover this up as well as cover this up, allowing it not to breathe because the grease will act as a, like a like a little sealer. Um, also, the other thing is too, is that these tend to get really dirty. You can see like the valve cover right here is pretty dirty. And all that dirt, grime, nastiness plus grease all sticks to this. I mean, grease gets sticky. Grease attracts dust. Grease will hold the dust and the dirt in place. Therefore, you run into risk of losing, losing contact with the ground here, that ground to there. Just run it straight, just like that. If you want to put any dielectric grease on, you put it just on these right here. Those little nubs right there for the coil packs when they're in place. The coil packs are actually what holds this right here in place, so that's gonna flop around. That, that's perfectly fine. It's like, just leave that there. Let it chill for a minute. So, a motor will only run off, or a motor only needs three things. Fuel, ignition, and air. Naturally, I went over, I checked the air box, make sure that there were no clogs. The filter was eh, kinda dirty, but I replaced it anyway, so it does have a new filter in there. I know for a fact it was getting plenty of fuel, but the other thing that I wanted to do, I wanted to show you guys, is don't be afraid to give a compression test to your motor just to see how it's doing. Uh, let me just rub this down right here. It's a little dusty, a little dirty, but this one right here, I left it here for you. It's almost 150 PSI, pretty much all the way across the board. Actually, it was a little bit over 150 uh, when I did the test. So, you know, you're talking 150 PSI all the way across the board. Everything there is fine. You know for a fact you're getting fuel. Don't trust your spark. Check every single coil pack, every single spark plug wire. Uh, this vehicle right now is going to get a tune-up. It has this new piece right here, uh, the new ignition module. Uh, it's going to have a new coil pack because the one coil pack was still sparking, but it was just weak. So that's very important. If you ever do have, if you ever do have the, a way or time, I do suggest investing in one of these. That way you can measure measure your spark it's pretty much what it works the way that it works is you have a little wire right here you can put this little alligator clip right here to well any part of the metal really just make sure that you have good metal contact take the spark plug wire off the spark plug put it onto here don't touch it whatever you do <laughs> go right ahead crank it or have somebody crank it and then just watch the spark now you can see you can see how, as you spin this right here, it's going to make a larger spark. And that is how you test if your coil pack is actually good or not. Is let's say that you get a larger spark distance on coil pack, I don't know, two and four, or, or I'm sorry, it would be like two and six or whatever it is, you know. And then one and four, the the spark isn't as great of a distance it's just not making it so that's just one way to check that i do suggest getting one of those so anyways long story short is let's say that your car is cranking you have fuel you have spark uh, check your coil packs if one of your coil packs not working obviously replace it if one of them is weak uh, you can switch them around just to see what's going on there if the, the coil pack is still bad in that location, obviously it's your ignition module. So I really hope, I hope that somebody actually paid attention to 
all the knowledge that I put in this video. I know it's like a lot of talking, but uh, a lot of talking, not so much action. But I'm going to throw this car over all together. I'm going to replace all the spark plugs. I'm going to gap them correctly, make sure they're all good. I have a whole entire new wire set. I'm going to replace all that. This car did crank, but did not start. Every once in a while, it would throw a little pop pop out, out of the back of the tailpipe, but it would even pop pop through the airbox. But so I'm going to do that right now, and I'll see you in, in the next take, which would be right. Alrighty, tune up is all complete. Everything is back in place. Everything's buttoned up nice, nice. Just got some tools and stuff I gotta clean off the car, but let's give her a try. Fingers crossed. Nah, I know I got this. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. She fired right up. Not a problem. Runs really smooth. No skipping. Nice. I think we nipped her in the butt. So guys, if this video has helped you out in any way, please be sure to leave a comment at the bottom. Let me know that I'm doing something good for you. You guys can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and I even have a TikTok page because I actually do like some like, pretty cool fun stuff with. It's all high roll in 1969. All the links are at the bottom of this video as well. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy yourself. Good luck. Any questions, just comment message me, whatever. I got you. Love you. Peace.